Hey everybody, we're back with this second generation Cadillac SRX and on today's video we're going to talk about installation of the factory uh, splash guards that are available for this vehicle. And so the great thing about the uh, longer I own this vehicle is the cheaper the factory accessories get. I remember when I first got this vehicle and looked at the splash guards, they were pretty high. They were well over $100 for the set. Um, and for what they are, that's a lot of money. Um, but now you can find a brand new set on eBay for a little bit of nothing. Um, they do make aftermarket ones, but as cheap as the OEM ones have gotten at this point, I would just recommend getting the, uh, the actual original splash guards. All right, so here's the part number for the factory splash guards. This is a set of all four. Um, so when you buy this kit, uh, this is all you need. And um, so this is what the box looks like and let's take a look and see what's inside. All right, so here we go. Got one splash guard, and two, looks like we've got instructions here. And another one. And number four. And have to be careful about all the small parts that manage to find their way in, into the box. Um, so it looks like we've got a pack of four screws here. These look to me very similar to the ones that uh, hold the wheel liner on currently. Uh, we've also got some little alcohol prep pads. Should be interesting to see if these are still any good. Uh, I have a feeling this box has been sitting on the shelf somewhere in some dealership for quite some time. And so it looks like we have a set of instructions um, for the rear splash guards in a bunch of different languages and uh, a, uh, a separate set of instructions for the front splash guards. And so what I'm hopeful that we can do here is uh, be able to install these without removing uh, any of the wheels. So. Uh, that is the goal today. And so here's the set of all four. Um, you can see that they have some adhesive pads already pre-applied to the edges uh, of each uh, splash guard. And uh, also, I don't know, let's see if we can get zoomed in here enough to see, um, but each splash guard is marked as to where it goes. Um, so you can see this one says front left and hard to see the rear left one there, and um, same thing on the other two. All right, so as you can see, we don't have a whole lot of clearance here. Um, and if I'm understanding the instructions correctly, on these front uh, splash guards, we are going to have to uh, drill one additional hole. We're gonna be using these existing screws and then one additional one. Uh, so I think what we'll do uh, to avoid pulling the wheel off is we'll go ahead and turn the wheel and hopefully that'll give us enough room to get a drill in there. All right, so the first thing we need to do is remove uh, this pre-existing screw as well as this one. Okay, so now we're ready to go ahead and slide on this front splash guard. All right, so I already washed the car good, so this is pretty clean, but we'll go ahead and uh, clean up with this alcohol uh, pad where these uh, where these adhesive strips are going to be. Um, so that's going to be right along here. And it's also worth noting that um, when you go to slide this on here, make sure these tabs are out because they actually don't want you to, uh, to pull these off until, uh, until it's already installed right into the last step. And so this is still a little bit moist. Quite a bit of dirt for a clean car. So I'm going to make sure these little tabs are poking out a little bit and that just slides on like that. And uh, we'll go ahead and put the pre-existing screws back in. Alright, so we on these uh, front 
splash guards, we have two uh, additional holes we need to drill. Uh, one right here, and there's one around the bottom that I'll try to get a view of here in a second. And we want to use a 332 drill bit for this. And we'll just try to center up in this hole right here. And all we're doing is drilling through this liner here. We're not getting into the body or anything like that. So not a big deal if you decided for some reason to remove these. And so right here is the second um, hole that we'll have to drill. And so we'll go ahead and use one of the supplied screws and attach this bottom one. And now we're ready to put in the final screw. And finally we'll pull these uh, adhesive tab protectors off. And it says to apply 20 pounds of force. Feels like about 20. And that's it for the uh, front passenger side splash guard. And I, I really like the look and hopefully that will uh, help with uh, all the crud getting thrown up on the front of the car. So let's go ahead and tackle the passenger rear uh, splash guard now. All right, here we are on the uh, rear passenger side. Um, so this is gonna be a little trickier to get at without pulling the wheel off. Um, since obviously the rear, rear, real rear wheels don't turn. Um, and so the good thing is we don't have to drill any holes on the rears. Um, so we have one existing screw here, um, one here, and then there's one on the, on the bottom. So we've got this little guy here, and uh, that gives us enough room to get these screws out. It'd be a little bit less convenient than the drill, but I think over, overall we're going to save time not having to pull the wheel off. Alright, and here's the third one on the bottom. This one we have room to get to with the drill. Alright, joke's on me. It looks like they have a T15 Torx under here instead of Phillips, which I just checked, and it's the same on both sides. And so same kind of thing. We do have an adhesive pad here uh, on the splash guard. So we'll go ahead and clean this up with the provided alcohol cleaning pad. We'll make sure to dig that little guy out before we tighten it down. Kind of inconvenient and tight in there, but there is enough room to work with this stubby screwdriver. Snug both of those up, and we'll put that T15 back in the bottom. All right, and that's it. We've got uh, one side completed and uh, the other side is just going to be simply the reverse of what we just did.
So I ended up going out and running some errands after shooting this and <clears throat> had some wet areas of the road we ended up running over and as you can see the back of the vehicle is clean. Usually there'd be all kinds of stuff thrown up on the rear quarter panel here uh, after even the littlest of puddles. And if we go around to the inside here you can see that there's all that crud that normally runs up all over the vehicle. So it actually is doing its job. Alright and that about does it for this installation video. I really like the way these turned out and hopefully um, they will help with not quite as much garbage getting thrown up on the sides of the car. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope you'll consider subscribing.